This animation illustrates how a new design may be developed from an ancient precedent. The design of the Villa Lalac seems to begin with the Megaron from ancient Greece. This is drawn here with the additional space Le Corbusier would need to accommodate the more private and the service areas of the house. The ancient Megaron was organised around its doorway axis. This linked the entrance with a central hearth, the heart of the house. The same axis might also link the hearth to an external altar. In his design for the Villa Le Lac, Le Corbusier set about dismantling the power of this axis. First, he chose not to enter the house on the axis. Instead, the front door is through one of the side walls. This establishes a line of entrance at right angles to the axis. Second, he narrows the doorway that would have been the main entrance to the Megaron and moves it off the axis. He also provides it with steps down into the, into the loggia and garden. Third, he moves the altar off the axis too. He sets it up as the outside dining table with its own window out onto the lake. And finally, he dispenses with the central hearth, the focus of the Megaron, and replaces it with the central heating boiler hidden away in its own niche. Some of the Megaron columns are unnecessary, so these are removed too. The relevance of the axis is now reduced, and we can remove it from the drawing. Next, Le Corbusier reorientates the house fundamentally by opening the long window to the lake. But he blocks the view from the entrance with the back wall of the bedroom. He had some built-in furniture to the living dining space. This is arranged asymmetrically. The more private and service zone of the house is partitioned, also asymmetrically, into the bedroom, closet, laundry, kitchen and cloakroom. The guest room is provided with its small niche for the wash basin. The loggia is given a sliding screen for privacy from the road. The sets of stairs down to the cellar and up to the roof are f fitted in between the end of the house and the site boundary. And so we end up with what Le Corbusier must have considered a Megaron for the modern world. The architectural power of the axis has been dismantled and replaced with an arrangement based in the asymmetry of function and experience.